you're going to be making something right. for more for me. Is that right? This is the vegetarian absolutely. dish. Absolutely, Shay. This is uh, a salad. And I have kind of inspired the recipe from Menglo region. We did fish and the salad also comes from that. So I have just taken some spices and created the lovely mangoes grow in that belt. This is a Konkani belt, it's called. Okay. Uh, the best ma mangoes in the world are called Alfonso mangoes. Alfonso, okay. Alfonso, not Alfonso. 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 <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have those mangoes, but still they are good <laughs> mangoes. Okay. Some apple, chickpeas, some salad leaves. We have got some spinach to go into that, some onion and spices. So we're going to kind of make a quick mix. Yes. A little bit warmish salad, not hot, okay. uh, not too cold, just a little bit warm and it just bursts the flavors out quickly. Uh, quickly, question on the actual mangoes. How ripe or raw do they have to be? Or do they have to be just so I said? It has to be ripe, but firm. Ripe, okay. but firm. So firm. when you go yeah. to, uh, to yeah. make this dish, you have to go shops and you have to look for the mango, the um, you have to look for the um, but that is quite, you know. They, sh they should be firm. They, they okay. should not be soft and you know, juicy. I'm you know, guessing. They can be juicy, but not too soft. Okay. If yeah. they're really soft, then I'm guessing they're just going to be really mushy. Is that yeah, they'll become mushy and it'll be pointless. It's okay. a salad. Okay. You, anything you put in salad, you should be able to take a bite to it. Right. right. That's right. the Makes idea. Makes sense. Okay, we're okay. going to leave you to it. As I always. can't wait to try the food. Good. Okay. Okay. good. Take care. See you in a bit. See you in a minute. For chickpea, spinach and mango salad, you're going to need the following ingredients. 300 grams of chickpeas, one mango, one apple, handful of baby spinach leaves, two medium onions sliced, one red chili sliced, one tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves and salt to taste. To make the dressing, you're going to need the following ingredients. One clove of garlic, finely chopped, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, handful of curry leaves, lemon juice, one and a half tablespoon of vegetable oil. For this recipe, the first thing I need to do is to make a dressing. So heat the pan and then add vegetable oil. You could use olive oil for this. And because it's for about four people, just use about tablespoon and a half. This is a dessert spoon. It's not proper tablespoon. Right. The oil has to come to a proper temperature and the garlic, what I've done with the garlic is finely chopped it and chickpeas and I'm going to use about 250 to 300 grams of that. So I'll start with one small spice to see whether it's sauteing or not. It's lightly sizzling but not that much but it'll do actually and I'll go on to add the garlic. About one clove I've used. And I will also throw about half a teaspoon of cumin and about half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. All the spices have to be in the oil. They need to crackle, they need to open up. And we are not coloring people. We, are, we don't have to color the garlic, we don't have to color the spices. They just need to pop open. Now I'm going to throw in enough curry leaves. Just saute quickly and I will add the chickpeas. Leave that aside. I need lemon juice for this. So I'm going to add the lemon juice now. Make sure you keep the seeds in. Don't throw the seeds, otherwise if it comes in your dish, it might give you bitterness. Just heat it lightly. The chickpea has to just warm up before we start adding rest of the things. I got some sliced onions which I'm going to add now. I didn't add onions before. Idea is to keep them nice and crisp. They have been just been sliced. Just slice some chilies. Don't need too much. Just a little bit of bite and maybe a little bit of lime juice as well. Macerate the chili in lime juice. Just add about a tablespoon more and this is almost done. All I need to do is tip the chickpeas and all the spices in a pan, in a bowl. I'll cut the mango. Okay, before I add the fruit, 
I'll just add the salt because salt really goes well with chickpea. And I don't want fruit to be kind of laden in salt. Look, this is warm and nice. So when I add spinach, it'll wilt. And that's what I want that effect, wilted spinach. Now, apple, going to keep the skin, remove the core. It's very easy. And I'm going to cut it into chunks. I think one apple will be good enough for that quantity. So there's a hard and soft fruit combination in there. That's it. Good. The mangoes also go in. And I got some spinach. It's a nice baby spinach. Just use as much as you want because it's really good. It works really well. Mix it in. Uh, heat from the chickpea would actually make the spinach wilt. I always like to taste my food before I give it to people. It's good. It can take a little more salt. And also the lemon. Remove the seeds. And I'll also add some chopped coriander. You can use ginger as well. No stopping on that. So this is ready. I think it'll be perfect now. Hmm, excellent. Very refreshing. Now, look at the spinach. It was not boiled, it was not cooked. It's just by the heat of chickpeas, it's wilting away. And that's what we want. Easy peasy. It can be done in less than 10 minutes, I would say, if you have all the ingredients laid out. It can be cooked very quickly. There's hardly any cooking involved, just sauteing and mixing. And it can be a great starter. It can be a great main course. If you want to diet, that's my kind of food. Well, this was the fantastic, simple and straightforward salad. And to make this salad, start with oil. A tablespoon of oil will do for this. And then I added some garlic. Half a teaspoon of mustard seeds or sarso, and half a teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera. And then I added some curry leaves. And then as you add curry leaves, be ready with your chickpeas because curry leaves shouldn't get shriveled up. They should just kind of splutter and you should be ready with your chickpeas to add in. And then I added some onion and I left it on the heat. So as chickpea was gathering pace, was ga becoming warm, it was also cooking onion, wilting onion slowly. And I added lemon juice, salt, sliced chilies, and then I removed it in a bowl and let it rest. And then I went for fruit and I added mangoes. I used one mango for four people and one apple for four people. Then I followed it by a handful of baby spinach leaves. After that, I added just one tablespoon of coriander leaves fresh chopped coriander leaves and I top it with a little more lemon juice to make it a little more tarty towards the end. Give it a nice mix, put it in the plate 